I'm going to unbox my most exciting, special, and expensive Rolex watch with you. I'll share the price detail, everything you want to know about this watch. Before that, I want to share something really exciting, some new pieces that I got from my favorite sustainable diamond brand, Ido. I know a lot of you asked me what I have been wearing on my earrings, like this one, and also the diamond necklace. I always, always layering it with my Hermes necklace here. Actually, this bar diamond necklace and also my earrings are all from Ido. Everything will be linked down below in the description box for you. Ido always come in so beautiful and the luxury packages. What's so special about Ido is that they are sustainable lab grown diamonds. Actually, lab grown diamonds are real diamonds. They have exactly the same 4C characteristics as the natural diamonds and human's eye cannot tell the difference at all between the natural diamonds and lab-grown diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds is way more affordable than the natural diamonds. It has this really beautiful idol pouch that you can put in your bag as an organizer or just travel with it. And I ordered a couple of things. Let me show you the first piece that I got from them. It said, can't wait to see them on you. And you open it up. And this is a first pair of earrings called Coco. How pretty! And these diamonds are so shiny. It has multiple diamonds in the dangling style. It's just so feminine, dainty, and stunning. Idol's earrings and necklace are all using this modular design, which means you only need to get one pair of diamond studs and then get different add-ons to insert the diamond studs to create different looks. You can also wear these diamond studs alone. The studs come in different sizes too. My studs are in the big size and a rose gold and you can pick white gold and yellow gold too. These diamond studs are only two three hundred dollars which is super affordable. That is the beauty of lab grown diamonds. These pieces are all handmade with ateliers with more than 20 years of experiences. I also really love that they all use 14k solid gold material instead of you know the gold plated like a lot of other jewelry brands. These solid gold will not oxidize or discolor and they can absolutely stand your everyday wear. For these diamond studs, I have had them for a few months and I have been showering and sleeping with them. They still look so shiny and stunning as you can see. Certain add-ons from Idol like this pair of earrings can also be used as a pendant for your necklace, not only just the earring. Let me show you. So I have this 14K solid gold chain from Idol here and you just penetrate through the loop. There we go. And this is how you wear the same earring as a pendant. You can either get a single one to mix match with the other style of earrings and a necklace, or you can get a pair and wear one as necklace. And the other side, you can wear a different earring. And here, you can wear it as a pendant. It's just so pretty. So let me show you the next. And it's a box in a different color. It said, tear me up. Here is another pair of earrings. This is the Billy earrings that can also be worn as earrings and necklace. I'm just changing the earrings with the same diamond studs on my ear and also the same 14k solid gold chain with the different add-ons. Look at this pair of earrings and also the necklace. It's just so dainty, feminine, and I just love the dangling style. They are also really versatile that you can go with many different looks. By the way, I really love this 14K solid gold chain after using it for the past few months because you can wear the chain with three different adjustable lengths. If you missed out my six ways how to wear my Van Cleef bracelet as a necklace. I'll link that video down below for you because in that video, I created six different looks with this solid gold chain and it's super useful and affordable. And I think it's only a little over $200. The next one is the single diamond studs that I picked as a necklace add-on. The diamond pendant come in different sizes and mine is called a solo three. It's just such a stunning and a classic style of diamond necklace to 
have either wearing it alone or layer it with other pieces it is so perfect it is a piece that i can wear to work and the weekends for so many different occasions if you're looking for something really stunning and high quality to treat yourself or your loved ones i highly recommend to check them out and right now you can get 10 percent off sidewide from idol with code sasa10 everything will be linked down below in the description box for you don't forget to leave me a comment down below to let me know among all the new ins and which one is your favorite piece from idol today with that being said let's get into the rolex unboxing so i totally went all out on this one i said it's special not only because it has all the look and everything that i love about it it's also because that actually this is something really really special to me so this was many years ago i randomly walked in the rolex door to browse around and i saw this very watch on display and i asked to try on this watch and i remember how i felt after i tried it on because it was so beautiful and it was so stunning and i also remember how i feel after the sales associate told me how much was this watch because it was over twenty thousand dollars which i'll share the price details with you in a bit in the price section i was actually really shaky i look at that watch i thought to myself that if i can achieve this particular milestone in my engineer career that I'm gonna buy myself this watch. Fast forward many years later, I actually hit that milestone in my career. It's a little bit emotional, but I'm so happy to get it. If you believe in yourself, you believe it, you will get what you want. So my sales associate packed a Rolex uh, magazine issue that came with the purchase. It has some details here. And then this is the Rolex box with the Rolex logo here and this is how the back looks like and it's just the standard Rolex box and then you can see that you open this box and it says Rolex here and you basically slide it down here is the frown with the logo let me show you some of the other stuff came with the watches first and then you slide it down and there's a Oyster Perpetual Day Just. This one basically is just some care and how you wind the watch and a after service. And then there's another warranty booklet. It basically tells you worldwide services and it has a Rolex logo here. And here is the authenticity card and it shows you the model number and the serial number of this watch and also date of purchase so this is the car you can take it out it said rolex international guarantee and here has some actual uh watch links you may already see the partially of the watch <laughs> you want to take one more guess before i show you the watch you ready Ta-da! My goodness! This is my Rolex Oyster Perpetual Day Just in oyster steel and ever rose gold with white mother or pearl dial and a diamond set dial and the whole diamond bezel. It's in the 36 millimeter with the Jubilee bracelet. I'm so happy to have this one. Welcome to the family. This is how the back looks like. For they just it, it's pretty easy to open it's not like my rubia that you have to do lift up and it down and then you open it but for they just and you can see you only lift it up and then you open it up and then this is how it looks so this is how the watch looks on me can you see the iridescent mother or pearl and you know how much i love a beautiful mother or pearl just like vca you know how each mother or pearl is in different shade intensity and the structure every mother or pearl dial is super unique in this world and you will never be able to find another watch in this entire world have the exact same dial as my even it's in the same style that's what makes me feel special about the mother or pearl dial because this is the only one in the three o'clock location it has the cyclop lens magnifying the date for easy reading 
It's very classic Rolex. For the diamond bezel, and you can see every single diamond is placed meticulously aligned with the other ones and then firmly secured in the rose gold setting. The sparkle definitely enhanced the watch so much. The Jubilee bracelet is a supple and a comfortable five-piece link metal bracelet, which is so sophisticated and feminine for such a beautiful feminine watch like this, I would only go with the Jubilee bracelet because it would not look as good if I go with the Oyster bracelet just with this particular one. Uh, watches and timepieces, they are jewelry, right? And they are more than just a jewelry piece. They're so special to me because it just brings a lot of good memory out of it and it's also a symbol for me that I have achieved something and also it just brings so much joy to me. I was able to get this watch fairly quickly from my AD without any extra spending. If you would like to know how I was able to get this watch, just leave me a comment down below to let me know and I will make sure that to work on another video to share all the details how I was able to get this watch. Let's talk about the price and I know you're really really interested in this so this one is currently retail for $21,600 and I was charged 25 cents for the packaging and the tax on this watch is $1,863. So the total came out to be $23,463.25. So you know how this watch has a diamond bezel? If you want to save some money on this one, I just want to let you know that you do have an option. You don't have to get the diamond bezel if you get this exact same watch, but with the fluted bezel without the diamond, Fluted bezel is basically rose gold and it looked the same as the rest of the rose gold part. That one with the fluted bezel is currently retail for $15,000. So basically the price difference between the fluted bezel and the diamond bezel is $6,600. I just want to let you know you have the option there. Leave me a comment down below to let me know if you would like a comparison video with my new Datejust 36mm and my Rubier. So so what do you think of my new watch? Do you have any questions? Don't forget to leave me a comment down below to let me know. I would love to hear from you and I will see you soon. Bye bye!